What's up guys, in this video I wanted to go through um, kind of where to find profitable campaigns and how to track what's selling right now. And it's a little trick that I kind of assume everyone knows but maybe a lot of people don't know how to, how to use this properly but basically all you do is you go to search Facebook and um, you can search Facebook for anything you want and you can search through people's um, posts that they've made so something like uh, some common phrases that are seen in drop shipping posts or ads uh, is something like, um, you know, get it here. Okay, now people usually write get it here and then they kind of put a link to the product. So if you, if you were to search, search kind of, if you were to search through that, um, what, what Facebook does is it pulls up all the ads or posts made with that phrase in it. So we can just scroll down and take a look at what people are selling. Uh, what's selling right now and you can kind of filter it down to 2017 because that's current and you can also in a really cool way um, add a location so you can put like Australia, Germany, Spain and you can see all the campaigns selling in Spain and you can go to Google Translate and translate this or something like free shipping and search through that and it's a very neat way to keep track of what's selling where and honestly you should be dedicating a lot of time to doing this sort of stuff and I'll show you why once we kind of find some cool campaigns so you can see this one get it here launched on April 15th so that was a couple months ago and it's pretty interesting so it's kind of like a moon lamp um, also you can save this hdeals.us to a spreadsheet and keep checking up on it um, what's this Oh, it's that bun video that I shared on the group and you can see 24,000 shares. So this is what I do to kind of find profitable campaigns. Um, LED valve caps, which is pretty cool. They've got a video, um, a t-shirt, would you wear this shirt? Shares. So you can also see the angles that people are using. So people are appealing to charities, dog charities, it's pretty simple shirt, dogs because people suck, uh, launched two months ago and it's got, wow, 170,000 likes, 35,000 shares, so I mean this is a pretty big campaign, keep searching and I'll let that all go, okay, yeah, so it's just interesting to see what's selling and how it's selling, um, you can also search phrases like um, just pay shipping because you know people do those free free plus shipping campaigns you can see what type of things people are running again 2017 and um, you know a lot of my profitable campaigns have come from inspiration that I've took from this kind of research method so I'll find something like this you know, and I'll figure out how they're doing this. All right, free zero dollar watches, which is pretty cool um, thing to add in a couple of videos. I mean, like if you were to use the same kind of format for other products, out of all the thousands of products on AliExpress, surely you'll find something that's, that, that's going to start working, right? Um, what else we got? First thing I look at is this. So here's something that, that sold well, free plus shipping, free just pay, just pay shipping. Zodiac art pendant. So what about different Zodiac signs that have this kind of a, a uh, um, you know, it looks something like that. Superhero shoes for, for kids, for babies. Um, backpacks. So you can kind of see what type of products are selling. and. They're interesting because there's something unique about each one of them, right? Well, 543,000 views. There's something unique about each one of them. But if you do this every day, you kind of figure out what niches that you keep seeing appearing. So I've seen horse products sell a lot. I've seen unicorn products sell a lot. Um, skulls, so skull shoes, skull pants, um, skull socks. I don't know, people kind of like skulls, I guess. Um, and you know you'll get a you'll get an idea of what sells and what type of products sell. Anyway, do that for your research. There's a ton of different words that I use and phrases. I'll paste that in the description when I post this video.